as I drop it. Oh. So today is Friday. <laughs> so today is Friday, August 26th. And as you may know, hopefully know, it is the launch date of the Splatoon 3 Switch OLED console. Um, I've been waiting for a while, to, ever since it dropped, I'm like, okay, I'm for sure getting inside. I, don't, I have a Switch Lite and regular Switch, but I don't have a Switch OLED yet. I was waiting for a special edition to pick up the Switch OLED. So this is the perfect one to get. Uh, so GameStop, I'm going to go to GameStop. They open at 10. Uh, I'm going to get there. Um, my goal is to get there about two hours early. I want to be first in line. It's probably not going to be anyone there until like an hour before, just because like there's not really many people that live here, right? Um, but... Uh, uh, it, it's just me cool experience. I've never really done anything like this before waiting for a video game system or anything So I, I'm pretty excited to do this and I'm gonna take you on the journey. It's currently 6 a.m. So that's why I, I just woke up like an hour ago. So Yeah, because I got I, I'm not going to GameStop yet. I got stuff to do, but we're going we're, we're heading out now So see you at GameStop All right, so I decided to go to Walmart I have to go to Walmart real quick just to see if maybe they have it here just because Walmart they sell switches and stuff so um I don't know if they'll have it it would be nice to get it now instead of having to wait in line at GameStop and everything but if they don't have it then gotta go to GameStop alright so there's a Walmart right by the GameStop that I'm going to and Walmart online just got some stock so I'm hoping that means that maybe they have it in store now. Hopefully. If not, we're going to line up at GameStop. It's like 7 50 right now. So I'm going to stop at McDonald's after and just grab a drink and a hash brown because I need a snack. Nothing at this Walmart either. On this side, yeah. We got Animal Crossing, which I have an Animal Crossing one. And they got those ones. All right, so I just checked online and there are two Walmarts in the city that have them in stock. Uh, one of them is like low stock, it says. So that probably means like, it's gonna be out of stock soon or they have like two left or something. So I don't, I don't wanna risk it. Plus it's a, like a 30 minute drive out. So if I drive all the way there and then they don't have it, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. There's another one where it says it's in stock. So, but that one's also a 30 minute drive and I hate that location. So I think I'm just gonna stick with waiting in line at GameStop because it's also guaranteed. Because like with Walmart, can't always trust that the employees know exactly if they've actually got it or if they've put it out or something. Or as GameStop, I called this location last night and the guy's like, "Yeah, we got them in today." Uh, so they got them in yesterday, right? So I'm I'm gonna just wait in line. All right, just got to GameStop right behind me. First in line, there's an hour 40 left until opening. I know it's kind of crazy that I'm here like so early, right? But I'd rather be here really early and be guaranteed that I'm getting because I called them last night and they got them in uh, than to come here like a half hour early and let's say there's, an, there's a lineup and I miss out from that. So I'd rather be here early. I brought, brought my Switch with me, got some Timmy's. Let's go. All right, we got 50 minutes to go. No one else is here. Um, should I have came later? Probably. Do I care though? No. Nah, I also just like being outside. I like the fresh air and everything. I've been kind of just walking around back and forth a bit while while waiting just to give my legs some movement so I'm not just standing around for ever. Should have brought a chair with me, but it's whatever. I could also wait in my car, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, played some more Mario Kart. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so 50 minutes to go. I feel like it's gonna be really awkward though if I'm the only one here waiting. And then there's also the new Monster Hunter Amiibos coming out today. As you guys know, I collect Amiibos, but I will not be getting the Monster Hunter ones just because Monster Hunter, I don't know have an interest in. The Smash ones, I collect all those even if I don't have an interest in the series just because I want all the Smash ones, Mario ones, Splatoon ones, all those I collect, but Monster Hunter just, I've never played it. I don't really have an interest in it. So that's why I don't collect those ones. Otherwise I get every Amiibo. Um. They are really cool looking though. I'd say they're some of the most detailed Amiibos. I also just spent 90 bucks on Amiibos the other day because the Splatoon reprints, uh, Best Buy shipped them the other day, so I got charged for that, right? So just spent a fair, a fair chunk of change on those. And then on September 9th, we got Splatoon coming out. Uh, and we've also got the Pro Controller and the Minecraft Amiibos. 
and it's also my birthday on that day. So pretty good day. We got Platoon, Amiibos, Pro Controller, and my birthday, and Cobra Kai Season 5 all in one day. That's sick. Uh, but yeah, so uh, gonna wait for GameStop to open now. Got half an hour left. Still no one here. I really did not need to get here two hours early. Half an hour early would have sufficed, but whatever. Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> I was waiting for two. I'm like, oh, you probably forgot. Yeah. We got the OLED baby. I felt really awkward filming me getting it, so I didn't really get much footage. I kind of just walked in there, and then I was kind of awkward. So I, I didn't film me actually getting it, but we got the OLED, so let's go take it home and open it up. All right, so I'm now back home. We got the Switch OLED. Let's get it open. So I was going to do this on my table, but I didn't really feel like cleaning it off. So this box it says Nintendo Switch, then we got uh, the Splatoon, the Inkling, then we got the dock, the Switch, and the Joy-Cons. So I open it from the bottom here. Oh, the box is a bit, of, it's a bit beat up. That sucks. Oh, those are nice Joy-Cons. All right, so there's the right Joy-Con. These are probably the coolest Joy-Cons I have. And these are the left Joy-Con. There's also some like design on the back. That's pretty cool. And then let's take out the console and put it to the side. I'll do the console reveal at the end there. So then take that off. We got the cables. We don't, don't really care about those because I've got all my cables for my other Switch set up already. Then we got the dock and some nice bubble wrap. I don't remember if my Animal Crossing Switch if there was bubble wrap with the dock. Oh, I can see it. Wow. That's clean. Dang, that's really nice. That's awesome. There's the back with the AC adapter slot, HDMI. And then there's also an ethernet port, which they do not have on the regular Switch, so that's a bonus. Not sure which dock I prefer, they're both pretty nice. I think I kind of prefer the Splatoon one though. That's because there's also artwork on the back. Both are pretty cool though. So now, I'm gonna put that up there. Those docks are not cheap. And let's open up the console. Ooh! As I drop it, oh, jinxed. Dang, that's nice. I really like the OLED screen. So I, I really also like the new kickstand design. That That's really nice. Because with the current switch, it's uh, just the little tiny thing right there, which like is not good. So let's turn it on. Oh, I can already see the difference with the screen. Wow. That's really nice. I'll do that after. Uh, but yeah, so I am very happy with this. I am very excited to play with it and check it out. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Let's go, let's go. Flip it.